So the next question is from Dave. He says, hi there. First off, big fan of Cardano and the podcast. Thanks for doing what you do. Well, thanks for the support. I appreciate that, Dave. We appreciate that. Wanted to see if I could help. I'm a information designer that has spent years developing classes and making the complex simple. Perhaps we can take a complex concept people want to learn about. I'd create the infographic, and then you can devote one of the podcasts explaining it. If it takes off, we can do several and help with these concepts to the masses. I was waiting for the foundation to do it, but never happened, as everyone knows. Let me know what you want to connect, and we can brainstorm on the first topic. Well, I can answer this question. Everyone is free to make whatever infographic or whatever material that they want to make for the community. You, you're free to do it. You're free to do it. You need to go to forum.cardano.org and... Um, Put your stuff there and the community responds and you can get good feedback. I mean, we can, of course, show your stuff on the podcast, dedicating the entire episode to one infographic or a series of infographics, I think is a little bit, a little bit much, to, to be honest. But, you know, we can definitely say what the community is doing, but we're not the we're not the arbiters of Cardano here. This is just the Cardano podcast. Everyone is free to do whatever you want. And at the end of the day, creating a YouTube channel is also free. So if you want to put your stuff on YouTube and if you want to put your stuff on, on Twitter, I'm telling you the Cardano community will back you. They will back you. I, I know just the other day someone made a, I forgot, they, they did the Alexa thing on their phone and they asked, um, I think it was with Google, and they asked Cardano what the price was and one of those Google Butler programs and those voice activated programs. And it's being shared all throughout the community. It didn't start with us. It started with another community member. They put it on the forum. They put it on social media and it spread from there. So we are not the arbiters of Cardano. You're free to put out whatever information you'd like. Anyone want to add anything? Yeah, if you're interested in design in particular, you may be interested in Symphony which is a project by IOHK led by Richard Wild, I believe. And they recently created a Symphony forum, which is different, different from the Cardano forum. And they're actively looking for people to participate in the project. People who have some programming experience and some design experience. So if that fits your background, you may be interested in contacting Richard about this project and see if you can get involved. Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. And one other piece I would add to that is that if you do have an infra infographic design, um, there, there's currently a task force being assembled where you can provide inputs into that task force. So if you check the Cardano General Telegram and the Cardano Forum, you will find the links for building this task force for creating information graphics. And some of the graphics that they might need are, for example, a graphic that shows how a user would point to a stake pool and how that stake pool, everything that Sebastian just described 10 minutes ago verbally, that would make a great infographic as, you know, like a layout of how these stake pools would work and what the hive looks like. So, yeah, there, there's some really good uses of infographics. And if ever we could use it on the program, we certainly will. We might not wrap an entire podcast around it, but we do have the screen sharing capabilities and we can recycle the graphics. They can be used in the podcast and or on the, uh, the stake pool task force who are creating training for, ta for stake pool users and stake pool operators. Uh, that's what the task force is for. So yeah, Dave, if you can make infographics Check out the task force and help them out. That'd be great. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Dave, for the question. We appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing your infographics in the future.